Now, one of the areas for exam prep I'd recommend you do, especially for the developer or the data architect exam, is to go through the cloud endpoints a quick start. And the reason is, is this will walk you through the process of setting up everything. And also, as part of the process, there is a uh, basically a GitHub repository you can clone with the sample app. It's called uh, essentially the airports uh, app or something of that nature. But with that said, it's got all that information to follow through. Uh, basically, the whole process doesn't take more than 20 minutes. And the reality is, is that they're very simple commands. You run it in Cloud Shell or with the SDK, whatever you prefer. And most of the time, though, most of that 20 minutes is more just waiting around for the uh, scripts to, to finish, uh, for example. Now, what I want to do is go back here, and I already went through this, so let's show you what you should see after you're done. If we go back to the endpoint portal, I deployed my developer portal, and if I uh, click on this, this will bring me to the portal, and this is the airport codes application uh, that was deployed on App Engine. And you could see that I have uh, the guides, I have the airport name reference, basically. Very small app, I could execute this, and you could see that it says no um, IATA code provided. Again, we could add a string to it as well. We could play around uh, with it. It's pretty limited, but again, it's meant just to, to walk you through the process. Now, if I go back here to services, you could see that I have one deployment. Now, generally, in case you haven't deployed endpoint, endpoints before, you know that with endpoints, um, there's nothing here. You have to go in. Then over here, the developer portal, you have to create as well. And just be aware, you need to get an application for this to be useful. So this is a good start to, to get some data getting started and collected. Now, if we go over here to APIs, for example, and also, too, if we see here, um, I'm going to generate traffic. You can see that right now um, it's going to go ahead and start uh, generating some packets. So you can see that it's starting to serve requests. What we want to do now is go over to API and services. And you can see that if I go down here, you can see that I have the airport codes. This is private at this point. And again, I could start generating traffic. Now, the reality is, is that this is uh, going to take a little bit of time to update, but eventually there'll be traffic that'll be um, shown in the graph. And again, this brings me back to my uh, airport, airport codes endpoint. With that said, I'd recommend you go through the steps. So basically, the, the steps are what we want to do is basically um, update our SDK if we're going to use that. Uh, then go through the next step, which is essentially downloading the GitHub. And then go through the next step, which is configuring the scripts for the airport application. And then we would generate traffic. And also, too, as part of this, if we go to the developer portal, if I go here um, to get to this point, you do actually need to um, authorize uh, the endpoint service. So you'll need to log back into your Google account. Uh, it uses Google authentication, just be aware of that. And it'll log you into the developer portal. With that said, let's move on to the next exercise.